Previously on Kamikaze Cookery. Yeah, and what about Nigella Lawson? Right, all of her recipes look and sound lovely, but I've never actually heard of anybody who can actually successfully make them. They know how to do them. Average Joe public doesn't doesn't know how to do them, so they don't stand a chance. So what we need really, in order to test this, would be some normal people. Anybody know any normal people? Unlike the others, I already had a normal person in mind. Index your role playing book. Who indexes their role playing books? Um, there, there were pretty indexing things. That one has even more. Yep, normality achieved. Morag is a gay singer-songwriter, role-playing geek. What could be more normal than that? Sorry. Having chosen my normal person, I had a pretty good idea what celebrity chef she'd like. There are no pictures of her eating in here. I'm very, oh, very upset. Surely there are. No, no. There's no no mouth shot, no mouth shots or close-ups of I don't know stuff. I thought there would be more lesbian content. I'm disappointed. Nigella Lawson is the interestingly named ultra posh daughter of Tory cabinet minister Nigel Lawson. She is best known for making beautiful looking recipes, then eating them in a pornographic manner. She then takes these and um, puts them in a recipe book, which is completely impossible to follow. They're impossible to follow. Oh yes, yes, completely impossible. God, she's just effusive about everything, isn't she? I don't want to nominate favourites, but even so, <laughs> I have to say this this a pie I'm ecstatic about. <laughs> Does entail quite a bit of work, but it isn't difficult work. Just moderately time consuming. How long are we gonna be here? I have a party to go to. Um... To cook, you need food. That's a kamikaze cookery top tip. Fortunately, Morag had a famous cookery presenter there to help with the hard bits. Non-stick thin. Oh no, that's, that's a pan. pan. <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream. We need ice cream. There isn't any ice cream on the list. If it works, cream. apple pie is the ice cream. And if it doesn't work, I need ice cream. Okay. Let's do this thing. Back in the kitchen, Morag needed my expert help once again. I think it says somewhere, if you've got somebody who have low ability and general low intelligence, get them to um, core the apples. Guess what I don't have in this house? What? Scales. One kilogram of flour, I need 250 grams. So that's about this much. Nice. Make the food, make the pastry, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Make the pastry in a food processor as, as normal. normal. Okay, I can see this one's going to go well. Now in the book, Nigella says that you don't need a food processor. However, in this recipe, she didn't tell us how to make pastry without one. So, I'm sure you'll be thrilled to hear, we improvised. Um, what are you meant to be doing there? Supposed to be pulsing the flour into crumbs. Uh, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Meanwhile, my task had changed to peeling more apples. Um, it's looking like um, peeling the apples is going to take as long as the rest of the recipe combined. Oh, it tells you how many apples. How many God apples bless are? Nigella. About three large Bramleys. Although um, I'm, it's actually, it was three and a half, I think, but we're making it in a smaller bowl, so three will be fine. And about ten coxes. I don't know if we're going to get You said coxes. Yes, very good. Oh bollocks, I messed this one up. Um, okay, so I've, I've, I've messed it up in a terribly exciting way. I just. Ah, shit. Oh, there we go. Now, that's, that was more exciting. Um, Did you hurt yourself? No. Oh bollocks. <laughs> Boring. Nowhere does it tell you how much water to add. Alex! Yeah, what? Nowhere does it tell you how much water to add. Um, well, uh, add as much as seems sensible. That's what she means. Well, at least the pastry making was going well. I'm going to go on a limb on this one. I'll add the egg and I'll add a bit of water to cool it all down. 
and then I'll just keep adding water until it's the right consistency. The right consistency being sandy porridge. Sandy porridge. I know I like sand in my porridge. So I know exactly what sandy porridge should look like. Pray, what? Alex. What? Um, uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. While Morag needed, I decided to take a break from apples to go and find out why we were doing all of this stuff. Basically, pastry is made of a thousand small pieces of sweet bread separated by fat. When we're making bread, we want the gluten proteins in the bread to bond to form a tough, stretchy mass. When we're making pastry, we want the dough to bond in very small bits, but to keep the individual pieces separated by fat, alone and afraid, in order to make sure it crumbles easily. It's a lot like a morale building day at a big multinational. That's why we rub the fat into the dough too, as the offspring so merrily put it, keep them separated. Of course they were talking about horny teenagers and we're talking about bits of bread, but I think the analogy basically works. Okay, Cox's apples complete. You said Cox. Yes, I, just, I said big Cox earlier and you didn't like it. <laughs> uh, um. Okay, this kind of looks like pastry. Mm. Look. Turn the pastry out and press it into two discs. Okay. One slightly smaller than the other. Wrap each in cling film. Cling film. Everybody loves cling film. While the pastry chilled, Morak had another task for me, her slightly startled sous chef. You know how we don't have a food processor? Yeah. So we can't food process oh, the apples. What do I have to do? Can't decide if this is slightly too dry. This is alright. Slice the bramleys into the small chunks and fry in half the butter. Half the butter. 80 grams on salted butter. Ah! <laughs> yeah, we, we won't tell Alex that we spilled tea on his book. You did what? Uh, nothing. If only that had been the worst news of the day. How much of that have you done? Most. Oh, bollocks. Why? Because I read apple mush and I assumed that I was food processing it, but actually uh, the mush was because we were going to fry it. Oh. Okay. But the good news is we have 20 minutes, so I can just go and buy more apples. <laughs> oh, you're a sadist, Laura. I think I'm going out for a cigarette, you know? I had tons of apples to peel to make up time. Fortunately, after about five minutes, Morag's uncaring front folded like Superman on laundry day. Much as I want to maintain the fiction that I then made you peel more apples. Um, let's, oh, keep it, let's keep it a fiction. This really is an awful lot of apples. Morag seemed to be doing surprisingly well on this one, so I decided to quiz her to check that we hadn't accidentally got a competent chef on our challenge. I never cook. I haven't cooked since I was 13 and doing a guide badge. I made a chicken stir fry, or rather, my mother made a chicken stir fry and I pretended it was me. I was in the kitchen at the time. So what are you doing now? Well, I'm putting flour down so the pastry doesn't stick. Wait Listen. a minute, wait a minute. I don't see this, that in the recipe. Yeah, um. Well, I have a small infinitesimal amount of knowledge of these things. You know, bakers are always covered in flour. Um, mm. Yeah, Nigella didn't mention to do this, actually, as it happens. Um, I don't own a rolling pin, so more innovation. A bottle of wine. Let's have a look. Yeah, 2006. More I rolled out the dough. We lined the tin and something like a pie began to form. Smells quite nice actually. We roll out the smaller disc of pastry to form the top. Lay over the pie and curl the edges inwards, crimping them to seal. Now I think I have remembered what crimping is. It's a type of dance they had on the mighty boosh. Right. And that thing you're doing with the bottle and holding the pastry on it. That's uh -huh. a, well I wouldn't have thought to do that. I'd have just kind of picked it up in an un unwieldy lump. Okay, kappa. That would be lovely, thank you. Oh, very nice. Okay. Mm. Pie, 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 pie. I forgot you like that. Uh, pie. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Sounds nice. Holding it? together, nice. Uh, that big enough for you? Yep. Okay, and let's see how it actually tastes. Okay. Mmm. 
Well, disappointed as I am to say this, this is excellent, Morag. Um, you know, Nigella has succeeded in teaching you to... Um, in fairness... ...bake her pie. Yes, there were some woeful omissions from mm. that. Some of which I got through because I knew stuff anyway. And some of which I got through because it was just sheer blind luck. I think it's really nicely written, but it's more like a book of ideas than actual yeah. recipes. Yeah, she seems to have managed to get the kind of porno thing going in a book as well. Yeah, well, I suppose, yeah, she had her moments with her ecstatic pie. Yes, yeah, so and push the cock's pieces into the sauce. Oh, fearless. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Tell you what, I'm quite ecstatic about this recipe, actually. It's a really tasty pie. Mm. So, Nigella Lawson. Well, it went quite well. There were a couple of little shaky points, like for instance she told us later on we needed to use a food processor, whereas a book specifically states that you don't have to. Also she wasn't always totally clear on things, like she said add some water to the dough, which, um, but didn't say how much, so Morag had to guess. However despite these shaky bits we didn't use a food processor and Morag did manage to follow the recipe, and the results were frankly delicious. So I would say Nigella Lawson, win. It melted the meat thermometer. I can't tell if it's done or not, because it's melted the thermometer. <laughs>